Hey YouTube, it's Sub, it's Chad here with a first iPod Touch video for you guys. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get LimeWire on your iPod Touch, iPhone, iPhone 3G, or iPhone 3GS. So, um, let's get started. If I go to my settings, general, about, I am running version 3.1.2. You guys can see that right there. So, 3.1.2 is firmware I am running right now. This is glitched, hacked. Okay, so now, go to your Cydia, let it load the data, I'm going to put on my tripod, this is my tripod, now mine is loading, so mine is loaded right now, so once it's loaded, you're going to want to go to your search and type in Mew Seeker. Mew, like the Pokemon Mew, Seek. Sorry, that's not Seeker, it's Seek. So, search it, and these two should pop up Mew Seek and Mew Seek Pro. Now, this is very important. For people that are watching this to have an iPhone or iPod Touch that are running version 2.0 or above, Mew Seek. 3.0 or above users, Mew Seek Pro. For the sake of this video, I downloaded Mew Seek Pro. So once you downloaded both of them, as you can see, I downloaded both of them right there. Exit out of Cydia. Go to the app. And right there, I have Music Pro and Music. Now, just to show you guys, if I, if I launch Music, the regular Music, exit it out. That's why for 3.0 users, you're going to need Music Pro. So, op I open up Music Pro. A little cache pop up. Now you're at the home page. So, you're going to want to go to search, find a song you want. For the sake of this video, I'm going to be, I already downloaded the song, but I'm going to download the song again. So I'm going to just search for a random song I know, uh, Billy Jean, Michael Jackson. Alright, I typed in Billy Jean, and right here, we're Billy Jean, Michael Jackson. Now all these artists and all these different repositories popped up now you're going to want to find the one where your song name is right here and the artist is right here so and the album name is right here thriller michael jackson billy jean now your song name whatever you want um if it's like a not a popular song it may not show up but it may will i'm not sure so once you want to download the song you want you're going to want to tap it and tap it again once that little icon pops up and it should go to your transfers transfers is right there now mine is downloading right now now it it, it should download at um, 93 kilobytes per second or maybe 100 kilobytes per second depending on your network so um, I'm just gonna wait for this to download and I'll get back to you guys when it's done downloading alright guys so my song has just been done downloading as you can see right there full bar now if you go to your downloads page right there, these are all the songs you have downloaded. I downloaded Billie Jean, a Mario song, and One Time. And to play it, you're going to want to hit the song you want, and right here where it says play. And that's how you play it guys. So that was basically a little LimeWire tutorial to get this literally on your iPod music. Um, follow this other tutorial on how to SSH your iPod and add the music on. But um, don't bother pressing this add to iPod because if you press it, an error is going to pop up saying unsupported firmware because you are running 3.0 and above. So, it's not fully developed yet, but in this um, tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add this to your music folder and iTunes. If you guys don't have LimeWire or FrostWire, this is really helpful. So, I'll follow this tutorial, guys, and um, peace. Alright guys, before we start SSHing our iPods, we need to first put our iPod in never sleep mode. So the way to do that, go to your settings, general, go to auto lock, and, and put it to never. Once it's checked in never, close out of that and just leave it on. Don't put it to sleep or anything. Now, I'm using a Mac for this video. So, what you're going to want to do is download a file called CyberDuck. It's free. Um, just look it up on Google, it should be the first one. Cyberduck. 
but for Windows users, you're going to want to download WinSCP. I believe that's what it's called. CyberDuck right here. If you want to download that, I'm not going to find the download page. You guys can find it. I downloaded this a long time ago, so I don't really remember. So anyways, once you have that downloaded, go to your spotlight. I'm just going to type in Cyber... Right there. CyberDuck. So once this is popped up, you're going to want to click on Open Connection. Change this FTP to SFTP SSH File Transfer Protocol. Server, your server is your IP address. To find your IP address, if you have SBS settings installed in your iPod, lay it down. And I'm not going to show my IP address because I don't think anybody should show their IP address. But um, right there, it says your Wi-Fi IP address should be there. So, and also, you guys, you have you guys have to be running on Wi-Fi to do this. If you guys are running on Edge or 3G, this won't work. So, I'm gonna enter my IP address in right now. So I'm gonna point the camera a different way. So I just hit my IP address. Now where it says username, type in root. Just like that, root. Password. It's Alpine. That's. A L P I N E. Remember, guys, everything will be in the description. Don't worry, guys. So I, I say guys a lot. So say, c click connect. Give it a few. Now this just pop up library and media. Close out of that. Make sure this is still on. Don't put the sleep mode. Always when you're SSHing your iPod or iPhone, never put your iPhone or iPod to sleep. So, anyways. Click the up tool or the back. Now you're gonna want to go down where it says mobile media music downloads. And uh, there you go, guys. These are all the music you have downloaded from there. It saves the MP3 file so you can just import them right to iTunes. So I'm gonna open up iTunes right now. iTunes is loaded. So now, basically drag and drop. If you guys have multiple songs you want to download, that's fine. Shift, hold shift. Hold on, I gotta put the camera down for this. Oh guys, hold shift, and then click down to your latest one. And all those should be highlighted. Now just drag them to your desktop, or iTunes, I'm gonna download to my desktop. The long or the more songs you have, the longer the loadable time will be, but the less songs you have, the faster it will be. So I'm um, still loading or downloading, as, as I should say it. Now you can always just minimize it at that. And uh, there you go, guys. These are all the three songs I downloaded from Music, straight from the app Music Pro. So now to put them in your iTunes library, basically highlight them all and drag and drop, guys. Find the playlist you want or just drag it to the music folder. I'm going to drag mine to uh, Frostwire. Now, uh, this is good if you guys don't have Frostwire or Limewire installed, as I said before. And there you go. One time I downloaded that from Music. And I also downloaded Billy Jean right there, Michael Jackson. So there you go, guys. That was a quick tutorial on how to SSH your iPod and get LimeWire on your iPhone or iPod Touch. Thanks, guys. Um, th this was actually my first iPod Touch video, but um, I may make more, or I just said I should just stick to Pompey videos. I don't know, but uh, yeah, guys. Thanks for watching, or if you guys are watching, and uh, peace.